The big coral structures you see when snorkeling are actually made up of hundreds of animals called polyps. Each polyp builds its own skeleton, and hundreds of polyps join together to form a coral colony. Sharing the polyps' homes are tiny algae called zooanthellae. It's the zooanthellae, along with some compounds the coral polyps make to protect them, that gives coral their colour. The zooanthellae use photosynthesis to convert sunlight into energy, most of which gets passed on to the coral polyps. So the coral polyps provide shelter, and the zooanthellae provide food for the polyps. It's a win-win relationship. There are several stresses that test this relationship. Pollution, coral disease, or a decrease in water salinity. The most common stress is warming water temperature. Corals and zooanthellae are fussy, and most tropical corals don't like to be in water warmer than 29 degrees Celsius. When the zooanthellae become stressed, they don't convert sunlight to energy efficiently anymore. They end up producing chemicals that are toxic to the coral, and the polyps kick the zooanthellae out. If this goes on long enough, all the zooanthellae will be expelled, and the coral turns a bleached white. Without their food source, the polyps will starve. However, if environmental conditions return to normal, the zooanthellae can return, and the corals can recover. Do you like science? We do too. Explore our world and beyond in a beautiful interactive format at nova.org.au. Get curious.